Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to run Cuphead uh, without any issues that have been reported recently with using the emulator, the 360 emulator. So uh, the, the important things, at least, that it fixes for me is you can talk to NPCs normally, you can equip your skills all using your joystick, and most importantly, uh, a lot of people have reported that the second player joins in as soon as you press any of the buttons. So uh, that doesn't happen to me when I run it in this specific order. So what you're gonna do is run the emulator, make sure your joystick works. You're gonna run Cuphead, switch to the emulator so it is active while Cuphead is in the background. Make sure first that you run Cuphead, set the, um, the windowed mode, so it has to be a windowed mode. You can easily switch to the emulator like that. When it's in windowed mode, uh, f from inside the game, you can switch again to full screen, all using your um, joystick. So keep in mind, try not to use the keyboard at all. Don't press any buttons because that will activate the second input and the game will think that you are the secondary player or the first player or whatever your game thinks you are with the joystick. So I'm going to run Cuphead, switch quickly to the emulator, make sure it runs. Now I'm gonna run any of the button words as for now, as you can see. And Cuphead is running. It's running without the second player joining in. As you can see, I can, I can talk to this fellow. Blah blah blah. Uh, most importantly, it runs normally. You can equip to do whatever you want. Uh, but don't use Alt-Tab to switch to Cuphead. Don't use even the mouse to minimize the emulator. What you're gonna do is simply go to Options, turn on full screen. As you can see, I'm running Cuphead now in full screen mode. You can uh, play your game normally like this. There won't be a second player joining it in at all. Yeah, everything is normal right now. So, uh, what what is important every time you exit the game, sadly because this is just a temporary solution, is you will gonna have to switch again to windowed mode, go back. See, for some reason, as soon as uh, as you switch the windowed mode or press any of the buttons that you aren't supposed to press, a second player is gonna join in. But since I am gonna leave to the desktop anyway. I'm gonna just run Cuphead again just to show you quickly. Switch to the emulator, activate it. Wait for Cuphead to run. And once inside the game. There is no second player. So this will work as as long as you don't switch the windowed mode too much and see I forgot to uh, switch back to windowed mode I will have to do that next time but I hope this will help you for now uh, let's hope for a permanent solution these days but for now you can play Cuphead using this trick have a nice day